Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guest. Well, Mark, he had a booklet out of the uh, advanced communicators, which is what we can move on to when we've done our first 10 speeches. And um, his objective was to tell us a story. And in particular, in this project, he had two objectives that he was going to be working towards. The first one was to understand the techniques available to arouse emotion, such as fear, doubt, and despair. And he actually put all those three words right at the beginning in his introduction. So we knew exactly where he was going to go with his story. There's two ways of doing this, according to the manual. There is an indirect way and a direct way. And the indirect way is with gestures. Now, I think, and I know Mark well, I think he could have made more use of gestures. And I think the reason why he didn't do it was because he had notes. And that's one of the things that I will move on to later. But certainly with the direct thing, the voice, he certainly changed the voice. He woke us up with his speech, his story. Uh, he changed, it went from very quiet to very powerful, which is really great when you tell a story because it makes it come alive. And also the use of words um, in his story. And he was very descriptive with what he did. So, accommodations on that was good use of voice expressions, I think. <coughs> I think you could have been better with the role models, probably. Maybe talk like your aunt a little bit more. I know you can do it. I know you can talk <laughs> like yourself. Better gestures. I think we should have seen more of those. Uh, but he had great eye contact. The second objective is to become skilled in arousing emotions while telling a story. And this can be done by various ways. Building conflict, difficult moments, not overstating the obvious, let the listener imagine, imagine things, the plot, the setting, the characters, the conflict of the whole story, and no script and notes. So how well did David do on that? Well, the introduction, I think, was a bit too long. I think it could have gone a little bit shorter. I got slightly lost as to where he was taking us. But it certainly introduced us very quickly to what is important in this particular area, the fear, the despair, and the doubt. So the recommendation is, cut down the introduction, make it more constructive, and don't use notes. And uh, I think there was a great passage once you got going through the whole story. With, with the travelling that you were doing, with the hospital that your, hospital, <coughs> your aunt went into, uh, and, and, the, and the almost the surprise that she almost felt that she hadn't actually passed away at Christmas. So, what about the conclusion? I think the conclusion was brilliant. It was strong, it was positive, despite all this negativeness in the story, and I can't find any recommendations on that. Never, never, Give up hope. Thank you very much.